साधु 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 नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत समबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत समबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत समबुद्ध Homage to the Blessed One, the Worthy One, the Supremely Enlightened One, Buddha Saranam Gacchami, Dhamma Saranam Gacchami, Sangha Saranam Gacchami, Dutiyam Pe Buddha Saranam Gacchami. दुतियाम पे धम्मं सरनं गच्छामि दुतियाम पे संगं सरनं गच्छामि तातियाम पे बुद्धं सरनं गच्छामि तातियाम पे धम्मं सरनं गच्छामि तातियाम पे संगं सरनं गच्छामि ूटा any kalyana mitta the uh, first we are going to learn about the verses of an enlightened monk after he attained the enlightenment um he recited these verses expressing his bliss of enlightenment his thoughts of gratefulness and thankfulness and and uh, the way he experienced the supreme bliss of nibbana these are from the teragata from the kuddaka nikaya of the pali canon what's the name of the arhant tero migajala 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 arhant tero don't think i can start okay please okay the verses of arhant migajala Ah, uh, four point seven. Ah, uh, the one with the eyes of Dhamma, the Buddha who was born in the clan of the sun, teaches Dhamma which overcomes all fetters and destroys all defilements. Four point eight. This Dhamma path leads to Nibbana. It makes people cross over samsara. It dries up the roots of craving. It cuts off the vengeance and brings people to Nibbana. Four point nine. This Dharma path breaks the root of ignorance. It breaks the engine of karma. Using knowledge as a diamond weapon, it hits wherever consciousness lands. Four twenty. This Dharma path shows you the true meaning of our feelings. It frees beings from grasping, generating true knowledge. it shows the true nature of existence to be like a charcoal pit 421 this dhamma path prevents old age and death it ends suffering it releases the flavor of truth that profound dhamma path is the noble eightfold path 422 this dhamma path enables people to understand karma as karma and result as result it shows the reality of life through the mechanism of dependent origination this soothing dhamma path leading to a safe and peaceful state is truly blissful until the end this verses uh, were said by arahant migajala sadhu 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 and the virtual verses about the dhamma path yes see how see how enlightened ones the arhant monks who who already attained the nibbana 
who had already experienced the, the results of the path um, praises, you know, they praise the path. All these, with all these beautiful, uh, beautiful words. This Dhammapada breaks the engine of karma. So we have our own engine, right? What is that engine that keeps moving this life? Karma. Engine is the karma. This Bhante says it breaks the engine of karma. This Dhammapada breaks the engine of karma. Actually, today the Sutta is about that. You can learn more about and discuss more about this engine of karma and how to how to break that engine. Normally you like to repair engines, right? You buy vehicles, but this engine of karma you should not repair. You, you have to break it. And this is also a powerful statement. Using knowledge as the diamond weapon, it hits wherever consciousness lands. So where, where, what are the places? What is the field the consciousness lands? If you remember the sutta, we learned about the landing places of the consciousness. So sense base, base. Consciousness is like a seed, as Buddha explained. And there is a field where the consciousness lands. Field is the form, uh, group of clinging, form, physical form, the, which is the body, and the feeling, another place that the consciousness lands. And the third one is perception, the things we perceive with the six sense bases, perception. And finally, the thoughts, ankara. Those are the four places uh, where the consciousness lands. And Buddha teaches, uh, when consciousness lands, in order for the consciousness to grow, there should be water. Because consciousness is like a sand, like a seed, so there should be water. If there is no water, even though there are those fields for the consciousness to land, the consciousness would not grow. So the craving plays a major role of supporting the, the, the growth of the plant. Uh, that's the simile given by the Buddha. And what is that moisture or the cra or the water? that supports the growth of the consciousness is the craving. Craving is the water. Tanha, Sineho. And Buddha explained about the, our whole life in that small simile. Our whole life is like a tree. It is like a tree and it gives fruits. What are the fruits? Suffering. <laughs> Suffering are the fruits. But, that, that's what this tree gives us. Um, but Bante, a uh, question. So if uh, craving is the moisture, but we mm -hmm. need moisture, we need the water in order for the plant to grow, right? Mm -hmm. So does it mean that we shouldn't water too much or, or should we control it because of the craving? We, use we, should, not, we should not water at all. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't. Not, but how can the plant grow? Much. Not we we don't need to grow 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 this tree of suffering. Okay. We, we are here that to stop the grow grow the tree of suffering. To, That's right. Yeah, we are here to um, destroy this tree of suffering. Okay, thank you, Bante. Yeah, good. So this this Bante Migajala Rahantero understood it very clearly. And he also says, this Dhammapada shows you the true meaning of our feelings that we uh, investigated during our Vipassana meditation, how feelings arise and the true meaning of feelings. And feelings are not to be regarded as mine, I am myself. And it's very clear why, why, why Buddha asked us not to regard feelings as mine, because there is nothing to do with, 
with our like with an ownership for the feelings they just follow the the, the contact whatever contact arises the the, uh, the feeling arises accordingly it, it doesn't follow our orders our commands our wishes so it's, it's very clear why buddha uh, explained like that and those who understand the true nature of this sansara they understand this existence to be like a charcoal pitch like if 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 others drag you towards a charcoal pit with burning coals would you would you happily go towards that or would you try to escape from it you try to escape from it and you try try to run away right so the people who understand the true nature of the existence they get this feeling that the continuous existence is like a charcoal pit wherever you step it gets it gets burned there's a powerful simile and it's repeatedly uh, you you see that in the suttas so that that's why arahants the liberated monks and nuns there is nothing they cannot find anything in this world that can uh, kind of um win their um interest or like mm, there's nothing in this world which can arouse craving in the hearts of the liberated ones they have already seen the uh, the conditioned things as a charcoal pitch how will similes that be uh, unenlightened existence bonte what is unenlightenment existence um it says it shows the true nature of existence but i'm thinking yeah. it's an un unawakened existence generating the true knowledge shows the true nature of existence so gaining the true knowledge of life shows the true nature of existence is that clear yeah okay all right mm -hmm. So it allows you to understand the uh, the difficulty of existence, and even if you are awakened, existence remains difficult. Existence, uh, you uh, the enlightened person sees existence as a charcoal pit. Right. They don't want to continue. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bante. Good. So, so the Bante explains about this uh, Dhamma path with beautiful words. And what is that Dhamma path? He, uh, the, the Bante finally reveals the, the what is that Dhamma path? It's the Noble Eightfold Path that gives you all these happy results. This is a beautiful collection of verses. Mm -hmm. And next we go to the again called the Ganikaya Petavattu. To understand the true nature of the karma. Before we go into the, the deep sutta today. Who is going to read? No, good everyone. Can I try to read? Evani, yes. Um so three point four, right? 3.4, Busa Sutta, the Hay Ghost. A monk, uh, sorry, a monk says, one ghost spreads burning hay on his head while another hits himself on the head with an iron rod. And a third ghost eats his own flesh and blood. You are eating filthy and disgusting excrement. What is, why is this happening? Of what evil deeds are these the results? Ghost says, the ghost putting burning hay on his head injured his mother in a human world, while the one hitting himself on the head with an iron rod was dishonest and cunning traitor. The ghost eating his own flesh and blood stole meat and lied about it to the seller. For my case, in the human world, I was very bossy housewife who ordered others around in the family. 
Even though I was capable of giving gifts to others, I was greedy and never gave anything. When people came to my house begging for food, I hid the food and lied by swearing an oath, saying, there's no food in my house. Believe me, if there's anything, if there is any that I have hidden, then let it turn to excrement and I will eat it. It is the result of both greed and the fact that I lied. Now good rice turns into excrement when I am about to eat it. All actions have a result. The results of bad deeds will not simply go away without ripening. Therefore, because of my bad deeds, I must eat and drink this filthy and disgusting excrement full of worms. Sad, sad, sad. Rejoice in your reading. So that is a very sad story from the stories of ghosts, Petavattu, from the Kuddhaknikaya of the Pali Ken. Now you see the results of bad karma. And the ghosts understand once they are reborn in the ghost world, all actions have a result too late. They understand it after they are born in the ghost world. That's too late. We have to understand it before we die. All actions have a result. So then we tend to do more good actions because good actions give happy results, generate happy results. And we need to avoid bad actions because they generate painful results. <laughs>